the changeling. Or as I like to call it, changeling. My name is Christine Collins. On March 10th, my nine-year-old son, Walter Collins, disappeared. If you're like me, you're going into change and like, oh, I gotta sit through a movie that's two hours and 20 minutes about a woman looking for her kid. That can be pretty heavy, that can be pretty depressing. And this movie's great because it's not that. In a five-month investigation, led to a boy being brought to Los Angeles from DeKalb, Illinois. The LAPD told me and all of you that this boy was my son. He was not my son. I love the balls of Clint Eastwood. This guy's a gunslinger because he... <laughs> yeah, they, they're they learned, they're veterans, like is what you balls. say. Yeah, they got moxie. Uh, because, you know, usually when you see a movie that's about a true story, it'll come out and say based on a true story. Right. Not Eastwood, baby. Not William Money. He just comes out there and it just says a true story. I'm going to give you a preview of what Angelina Jolie looks like the entire movie. If you can handle me looking like this for the rest of this review, then you will be fine to go to the chain link. I know my son is out there. I can still feel him. She's getting too skinny now. She looks like, who's that crackhead singer that's always running around? Amy Winehouse. Whitney Houston. They have like those big, veiny, kind of creepy bone hands. It looks like Skeletor. But in this movie, you forget that she's half a Brangelina and she runs around and adopts kids in Southeast Asia and raids tombs and does all that stuff. You're just watching Christine Collins. Right. It's really yeah, unbelievable. I just want my son home. This is a woman who's lost a child, right? I don't know why she continues to look beautiful through the whole movie. And I also don't know why like every man in the movie isn't like, I'll help you find that kid. God damn, you're hot! You have stopped looking for my son! Why should we that be looking for someone we've already found? The guy who is in the show Burn Notice plays the captain of the police. Jason Butler Harner, believe you me. Exceptional. He is the captain of the pricks in this movie, yeah. and he is so good at it. You're just like, you know what, well, fuck that guy. You want to grab him by his neck and strangle him. He's, he's, what a jerk, but he is fantastic. By signing this, you certify the police were right in sending you here for observation, and it absolves them of all responsibility. I won't sign that. Orderly! Clint Eastwood does such a good job of suspense. You just want to know what's going on with this kid. He drags emotions out of you sometimes. <laughs> What the hell have you done with Christine Collins? It holds kind of steady. It, it kind of holds that same note. It's like Kenny G holding a note on the clarinet. It can do it forever. And it, you know, it just keeps holding that note and you never get too high or low, but you're invested in the story the whole time. I agree. Never has an, uh, a movie been trying so hard for an Oscar. I feel like on all sorts of levels. Is it hard to take me serious with this? Yeah, it was hard for me to take her serious too. I want my son back! I think it's a good movie. It's an intriguing story, but if you're not somebody that enjoyed Schindler's List, per se. Uh, I don't think this is the movie for you. If you're into the Oscar movies and you know this is something you want to see, go check it out. But I have one question for you. How bad is this dog's breast smell? I can smell it from over there. I'm doing the review. It smells like fish. It's so you know it'd be great is if Taz went missing and then they try to bring back another dog. Christian could just go, let me have his... No, that's not that 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 dog's breath is way too good to be my dog. That is not my dog. I want my Taz back. And then Malkovich comes knocking on your door and he's like, hey, I heard you're looking for your dog. I'm here to help. And you're like, Malkovich, you're too creepy for me. I'm sorry. 